Okay, hi everyone. So So I'll be coloring another mermaid today. And I've already picked out the color, so that's good. Hi, Red Roses, how are you? Oh, uh, turn down that mic. So yeah, this is what we'll be coloring today. It's gonna be a kind of a simple one. And hopefully everything will be okay with the connection. Just adjusting the camera. My cord. Okay, pull up the chat so I can see. I'm feeling pretty good today. Just a little tired recently. I just feel kind of out of um, practice for live streams already. It's only been a few days. <laughs> Hi, Dory Stories. How are you? Hi, Jean. Oh, thanks. I wanted to go for something a little bit creepier this time. You know, creepy mermaids. I remember a long time ago, I researched mermaids and uh, those stories were dark. <laughs> so I'm kind of going for a scarier mermaid. I've already picked out all the colors. It's going to be um, a gray scale with a little bit of green in there for like creepy feel. It's been a pretty uh, mellow day today here. Just kind of like hanging out, watching TV. Kind of want to get something done tonight. Oh, thank you, Red Roses. You're so sweet. Hi, Suzette. How are you? That's such a cute name, Suzette. <sighs> All right. Uh, these are the color swatches I played with earlier. I think I kind of, mm, I'm not I'm not feeling it, so I think I want to do some warm up. I want to warm up a little bit before I start coloring. Hi, Karina, how are you? It's going to look kind of funny. My warm up is just making strokes. You need to do some work too. Are you going to be doing art or other kinds of work, Dory? Recently, my my uh, my live stream mermaids have been doing really good on Instagram. Like I've been getting a lot of likes on them, and I'm kind of freaking out about it. I don't know why. <laughs> now I feel like the pressure's on to make the next one really good too. But I'm trying to be like, relax and just be like, well, I didn't have any expectations when I made them. But it's hard. Oh, you're here to get inspired. Oh, that's awesome. I hope I can inspire you. Oh, no, you've been up to 3.30 a.m. watching the Royal Wedding. I watched a bit of that, too. 8.30. Oh, gosh, you must be really tired. Hi, Emma. How are you? Ooh, a commission to work on. That's awesome. Of course I remember you, Emma. How am I? I'm doing good. Uh, we watched a bit of the royal wedding, watched some TV. Just kind of had a lazy day. And uh, I kind of feel like... Mm, not really into it, but I want to get stuff done. So hopefully this goes okay today. <laughs> you watched it too, Red Roses? Yeah, it wasn't that bad for us either because, like, um, they started airing. Like, oh my gosh, there were so many channels playing it here too. Like, all the news channels and a few others. And they started airing the Royal Wedding at, like, 
2 p.m. here, so I think it was not so bad for us. I know it was like morning for Britain, so it was like afternoon for us here in Singapore. Tea, lots of tea and coffee. That sounds good. Ooh, a horse mermaid. That sounds really neat. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably do a, a seahorse mermaid again. I actually started, I'm going to show you guys something that I haven't showed anybody yet. I started another mermaid yesterday because I felt, I felt like I should stream, but I wasn't feeling it either. So instead, I did this drawing for a video. I'm halfway through the inking. I'll have to wait for the video to catch up so I can see if you guys are actually seeing this. I really like how this one turned out. I, I already did a jellyfish, I think like, what was it, like last year? So I feel like I kind of revisit it. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Red Roses. Wedding started at 3 a.m. there, oh gosh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that, so I just, I want to refine her, her jellyfish bits here before inking. But otherwise, I like how it turned out so far. And I'm, I'm going to make a video out of this. So I have already recorded and I'll finish it all on video. So that will be a speed paint. That, that's the one I wish I could have put up on Friday, but I just, I just couldn't get it done. <clears throat> Do you play The Sims? No, I've never actually played The Sims. Sorry, I can see myself in the video knocking the camera. Hopefully it won't move too much. I'm going to make her hair black, but I think I'm going to start with a lighter color just uh, to get myself into it first. Oh, before I do that, I want to... Yeah, I want to do a halo around here color. My vision is that it'll be like, um, the whole background will be dark and then fade in to a lighter color around her to make kind of a shiny kind of spotlight kind of thing to make the whole drawing look kind of creepier. Um, so I think I want to put down the light color first around her. <laughs> Today's my day also gonna draw, try to improve some art and start uploading some art. Yeah, awesome. You can do it, Karina. Please can I say that I love your live streams not only I love you and your art is so inspiring but you keep me company since your last live stream I've been waiting for you next time oh my god that's so sweet thank you thank you so much for saying that because I don't know why but I've been feeling I was feeling really weird about live streaming again it's like I feel like it's been so long since I did one because I wasn't feeling well it's only been a few days but I don't know I was feeling really weird about doing it again I had this weird feeling something bad was going to happen, <laughs> but that's so sweet that you said that. I feel a lot better now. I was actually thinking it's going to be so weird when May's over and I won't have like an excuse to stream so often, but maybe I'll just try to stream in another way. If I could figure out how to stream on Twitch, that'd probably be good. <laughs> Adam, thanks. Silhouettes would be cool. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. There's actually one DeviantArt account that 
I remember following a long time ago who did, I think her most popular art was like she did silhouettes of uh, Sailor Moon characters. And it was really good. just kind of wanted to set up the background latest color first so that later when I do her hair black I don't have that like going into this color and ruining it <laughs> I should probably do the whole background first but I don't know I don't know maybe I should Lady Marjola, Marjola. It's kind of yin and yang, but I think I might redo that. Yin and yang sounds pretty cool. When I did the line art for this one, I kept thinking like I wanted her hands to be kind of like clawy and creepy, but I couldn't quite get it to work that day. <laughs> you know how that is sometimes. Oh, the mermaid is beautiful. Thank you, Lady Mordula. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm going to the shops after my food to get a blender. Is it weird? I'm really excited. You're really excited to get a blender? That's, I don't think that's weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm an adult too. Any type of new technology or gadget is kind of exciting, you know? Okay, <laughs> let me see if I get this. I remember you, Je Jen, wait, Jessian, Jessin, Jessin, is it Jessin? I, I couldn't even get it right last time, but I remember you, hi. <laughs> I always feel so bad when I, I can't say the people's names right. I got my mom a blender from Mother's Day. Oh, that's so nice. Did she like it? I really love Mermaid. Me too. I really like Mermaid. And this year has been like pretty nice. I can't wait for Inktober now too. I don't know why. I think I might do the same kind of thing for Inktober. What do you guys think? It's a, it's a while away, but that might be one way to do it. Because I feel like a lot of times with Inktober, people get bored of the daily videos pretty quickly because there's so many people doing them. So maybe I'll just be like, Never mind, I'll do live streams. You can watch me curse at the ink as I do it live. <laughs> like that would be terrible though. I need to refill some. Yeah, she loved it a lot and I got, wait, and I got it. Oh, you got it right when it went on sale? 
Well, that's awesome. That is super awesome. Hi, Brittany. I always do one Inktober sketch for, tour at the end. Yeah, I, I'm planning on doing a, a sketch tour with all these mermaids at the end too, so everyone can see the finished ones since it's like all the finished drawings are up on my Instagram and they're not in these videos, so um, everyone gets to see. I think I'm gonna refill some, some things first. That one, what was I using? N0. Oh, that's weird. Top cap is a little wiggly. I'm gonna do ink timber again. Not sure what though, last year I did Omelets? You did omelets, but got lazy halfway through, so they were posted the rest online. Oh, I know that feeling. I think I, I've done that. I, you know, in my in the last video I did, the last like edited video I posted up on this channel, I I was thinking back and trying to remember when I first did mermaid, and I totally forgot that I actually did mermaid in 2016 as well. But it was the same thing during 2016. I did a couple and then I was just like, it, it just fizzled out. I think I only did two videos that year and a few sketches and the rest just fizzled out. <laughs> so it happens to the best of us, these challenges. Last year, the only goal was they need to be guys. Oh, that's a good goal. It's really good to, to practice drawing guys. <laughs> I really like the the drawing, even though it said in the title it's a creepy mermaid, but it's not creepy. Oh, thank you. I kind of like creepy though. I'm, I'm uh, I am quite uh, I like the light side of stuff, and I like the dark gothic -y side of stuff too. Oh no, my iPad autocorrected. I completed my drawing. So wait, let me go back and see what that means. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, so omelet was the autocorrect, right? Yeah, I like dark creepy art too. I always feel like I need to pick one because I, I like to draw, you know, pretty princesses and dark creepy stuff, but... I feel like if I had picked one, like maybe if I just stuck to the dark creepy stuff, maybe I would be more branded and more popular, but I don't know. I just, I kind of want to draw what I want to draw, you know, you know, guys, it's just like, sometimes I don't want to care about analytics and stuff when it comes to YouTube. I just want to make videos and post them. <laughs> Okay, now I'm refilling the, the one I was just using, which was N0. Sorry guys, necessary evil. Gonna refill the markers. It's probably a bit boring to watch. <laughs> Hopefully you know why. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Karina. Don't worry about it so much. I usually try to understand what people are saying because I always say the wrong thing and like people help fix what I meant, you know, it's like I like it when people like try to figure out what I meant to say. So I always do that for other people too. It's all good here. Same, I am not branded because I like to do different stuff. Yeah, exactly. So much more fun, really. Although I do feel there are times when people get confused because it's like, you know, one video will be fairy princess, next video will be the, like a gothic queen. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, do you know Cecilia's? Um, I don't know that off the top of my head. Is it, um, an, but what is it? Is it an artist? Is it a person? Is it a website? A game? Oh, I'm the same as you, Jensen. Jessen, Jesse. Oh man, I'm gonna just keep butchering that. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the same as you. I like colorful stuff too, and I like dark and creepy too. This is probably full. I'm probably overfilling this because I'm I'm reading the chat as I'm doing it. Oh right, an octopus. I was wondering. You know, the other day I was tagging that drawing of the octomede, as you guys um, taught me, and uh, I knew there was another word. But I couldn't remember what it was. Okay, this marker feels heavy now. <laughs> Let's get back to this. I actually was considering drawing another when when I did the the jellyfish girl. I was considering doing another octopus, because um, that was just kind of fun to do. But although it like killed my wrist, like it seriously killed my wrist. Um, but then I was like, no, do a different animal. You've already done one of those. I saw a really beautiful octopus, um, mermaid. I wonder if I can remember the name of the, the girl. It was on Instagram. Oh, of course, it's not, I don't have Instagram on that phone, sorry. But um, I saw one lady who drew an octopus mermaid and she made the, the tentacles look like a ball gown. It is so beautiful. Well, after I refilled this, this color is like darker. I wanted it to be super light. <laughs> it probably will be later in context of the, when the rest of the drawing is colored though, so it should be fine. I think maybe for Inktober, I might do Sirens or Mythical Creatures. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Okay, Jessen. Jesse, I'm, oh man. Every time I say it, I feel bad. My all time favorite is your creepy DC mermaid on. Do you mean, oh, tone paper. Oh, cool. Thanks. I don't even remember that one <laughs> on tone paper. Oh, is that the one where like I used the the dip pen and then the markers they made it bleed? That one actually turned out pretty good, except for the bleeding part.
I just refilled this burger, but it's still acting kind of dry. <sighs> Come on, Marker. You can do it. Sorry, I gotta catch up on chat. <laughs> uh, let me see. When I see octopus mermaids, it makes me think of Ursula as a little mermaid. Yeah, it's true, me too. It's hard to, to um, move away from that too. Like, most people just instantly think of that. I'm already excited to see the finished showing. Can you do a colorful mermaid on the next live stream? Or if you don't want to. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, I'm not sure because I already finished the line art so it depends on the line art but um yeah we'll definitely see i can't remember which one's the next one i can't remember if it's, it's a colorful one <laughs> but I'll, I'll surely do more colorful mermaids in the future and now i have to babysit a one-year-old oh but that sounds cute hopefully it won't be too much trouble for you Maybe he wants to see the mermaid. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, hi, Zandra. That's a cute name. I always wanted to meet one, a mermaid. <laughs> yeah, Ursula definitely. It, and I mean, Ariel did too, because like, you can't draw a red-haired mermaid without everyone thinking it's Ariel, right? I think that's why my one my one drawing on Instagram is getting a lot of likes. I think it's because people think I do Ariel, but it's actually not. And then again, I've seen some people on in Mermaid. They've been tagging it with like the Little Mermaid, and I don't do that. I won't tag, you know, the Little Mermaid just because it's a mermaid. This marker is super dry. Try the chisel tip. One tip is that if you're new to markers, don't be afraid of the chisel tip, especially if you're filling a large area. It actually tends to be a lot smoother to fill a large area if you do it right, if you just keep a good line. absorbed the jelly that's so cute i'm gonna refill this marker again so i gotta move that out of the way So 
so true, but you did great on the red-haired mermaid did not too long ago. Oh, thank you, Brittany. Maybe it still needs Heineken ink and nibs. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes, I actually like the chisel tip. Yeah, me too, Dory. Like, you know, I actually didn't use to. <laughs> but uh, when I was given these um, chisel tip markers to try out, I, I really challenged myself and realized, you know what? These are actually pretty good. They don't, they don't deserve the bad rep they get. I don't know why I'm feeling this side. This side's totally fine. It's this side that's dry. Just gonna put it right into the nib. This nib is like leaning. I think that's how I found your channel originally. I think it was when you were talking about the using. Yeah, that probably is because I think that one became like. I I never expected when I made that video that people would just like I think it's still getting hits today. Like to me that's just so crazy. Yeah, chisel tips are great but for me brush tips. Yeah, brush tips are still really great. Like they do a lot of stuff chisel tips can't, but it's because, you know, some popular artists on here. Um, they, they always talk bad about chisel tips, so. Part of me feels like we have to be like, no guys, seriously. So just listen to everything you hear. Chisel tips are good too. It was either that or your drawing of Ogre Girl you made. Oh, I think that that was the same video. <laughs> I think it was, right? The... Yeah, I think that was the, the same video, so it was probably that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, both chisel tips and brush tips are good. Alright, so I did kind of like a general layer, and either I can be brave and do the whole background now, or I can just move on to the character. Mm. I'm not sure. It might be good to get the background out of the way, but I'm feeling kind of like, meh. Backgrounds, right? Ugh. Alright, let's, let's just do it. Let's just do the background. Get it out of the way. It may be slightly off center because like she's more this way. So this side would have more and this side would have less. <laughs> I'm glad you like this shout out. They were made for a reason, like, if they were so bad, Copic wouldn't have made them. Yeah, true. <laughs> There's actually a lot of um, professionals who mainly stick to the chisel tips, too. So, like, those really high-end professionals. I know, actually, some other small artists also say chisel tip is very handy, but... Most people would take a bigger artist word, sadly. Yeah, that's kind of true. Because a lot of people, they just listen to what they hear. If, if they like the person, they'll just accept what they say. And it's not like the person saying anything, like, you know, on purpose bad. It's just their opinion. But there's a lot of people who will just blindly follow that. But um, there's a lot of industry artists who um, use the chisel tips. And I even had to break through that. So, I hate backgrounds. I often put a solid color of the character behind. Yeah, 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 me too. <laughs> I hate backgrounds. That's why I'm, I'm like, 
I'm reading your chat instead of doing it, you know? I, I keep putting it off. I keep putting it off. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Like, if you look at professional animators who sketch with Copic, they use the chisel tip most of the time. Yep, yep. Backgrounds aren't too bad. I usually add a little bit of extract to mine, yeah. Ah, you're brave. I, I always just, I procrastinate. Uh, the tail color is going to be a dark color because the, the most of this is going to be black and white and there will be little hints of green. I guess I gotta stop procrastinating. <laughs> I gotta do it. I, I just hope I don't mess anything up. It's frightening when you put a dark color, you know? I'm still going a little bit lighter. This isn't the darkest color I want to use. But, I'm like, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. But I have a backup. I already scanned all the line arts, so if I do mess it up, I can just start over. But hopefully I won't have to, because then I just waste a bunch of Copic ink. <laughs> that would suck. Alright guys, I'll have to catch up and chat in a bit. I'm uh, I'm in Copic panic mode, if you know what I mean. Blend panic mode. Oh, I see Cookie's here. Hi Cookie! Alright, let me just see what's happening in chat. Like Floyd Norman, retired Disney animator, always uses the chisel. There's a documentary about him on Netflix in case anybody wants. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look for that. That sounds really interesting. The darkness isn't all that scary. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to note that down. Otherwise, I'm not gonna remember later. That might be a good watch. I don't usually like documentaries, but. Note it. Okay, that's caught up. I just kind of did a small patch here just to, I just need to see. Um, this area would have to go thinner, like really thin, like I didn't realize how close that was. And then come around, do it a bit wider here. And of course this needs to be smoothed out. I can come in further over here. It should be fine. But like this, 
makes me wish I had positioned her a little bit more over. <laughs> That's like one of my problems. Uh, yeah, I have a, a few of the Copic Originals too. Um, Jessin? Jessian? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, yeah, trip over that Asian. But yeah, the... the about the chunkiness. I don't know. Maybe it's just... It doesn't fit. So that kind of sucks. I actually almost considered getting a few more um, Copic Originals last, was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Because I went to the art shop where they had the cheaper Copics that I bought a bunch of. And they had a couple of the colors I needed in the Copic Originals. And I was like, hmm. And I was like, no, 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 walk away, walk away. As it was, I spent like $70 on refills, which is uh, painful. It's painful. It's painful, you guys. So I've got to make these markers work. Put so much money on them. They better do a good job. I'm almost at the same time not loving how patchy this looks and actually liking it. Which is kind of funny. I think I'll just leave it and keep going. Did we just buffer? Because uh, I don't know if that got caught. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Karina. I was like, I don't love that it came out patchy, but at the same time, it's kind of working. It's kind of funny. There is definite... Um, I feel like recently the lag between when I say stuff and when... Like the, you know, it plays on my playback. It's like gotten bigger. It's probably like 15 seconds or something now. Yeah, exactly. You just got, you guys got to the part where the darling flew away. I do that all the time. Oh my gosh. You guys, when I do like um, speed paints, there's always like, I accidentally throw a marker across the room by just like moving it quickly. Or like, just flip the drawing over. It's just, I'm a clumsy person. It's quite funny though. Oh, it's okay, Jessen. Oh, sorry, I always say that wrong. But uh, you can always check out my Instagram in the next few days when the finished drawing will be up or you can watch the replay later. But thanks for coming by. Have a good day, night. Or, yeah, it should be night for you. Have a good night. See, I'm starting to remember. Starting to remember, guys. I actually like this. I think I'll continue with these colors around and then I'll go darker. It's a little bit easier that way. So how is everyone otherwise? Uh, anybody else watch the royal wedding? Was it exciting for you? I was a little bored by it, but that's just because I already got married. I already went over all that stuff and uh, I was really into all that wedding stuff when I was getting married and also like for a while after and then like I don't know I was just like meh I'm done with that phase of my life now <laughs> not excited by weddings anymore
Or does anybody watch BuzzFeed Unsolved? I think that's probably one of the only big YouTube things I follow. And I don't even follow them. Like, I don't, like, subscribe because I don't like the rest of the stuff they have on their channel. But I really like the series because I like paranormal stuff, so it's quite fun to watch. kind of wish there was more paranormal shows. I feel like I've been in the mood to watch paranormal shows recently, but I just don't, can't find them anymore. Like, there was a really good one, like, Paranormal Lockdown. I really liked that one for a while, but I don't think they continued it. They must have, like, canceled it or something. Oh, it's okay, Brittany. Have fun. Thanks for coming by. Same though, I haven't caught up. <laughs> Me is correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I sometimes like how it can be funny, especially like when it gets like really serious and creepy at times and then they just, they do something funny. It just makes it so much nicer to watch. I especially appreciate that during the crime ones because the crime ones can be like, I don't know why, but to me, the, the paranormal stuff is not as creepy as the crime stuff. That stuff really creeps me out because it's like, what people are capable of scares me more than like, you know, ghosts or aliens that might not exist. Hey, we got another dry marker. Oh crap, this one's really dry. Okay. And if you're curious, if you're new to markers, you know it's dry when you've got white spots on the nib. For a while I was really into watching, um, in Singapore they have like Asian ghost stories that they sometimes play on Channel 5 and I kind of like that. Because, um, the like, the ghost stories of like people living in Asia is like kind of different from the way that I feel the ghost stories in Western countries are. So I find it really fascinating and they're even creepier somehow to me. I feel like the difference is in, in the Western world, everyone's still kind of like, I don't know if we believe in it. But in the Asian world, it's like, they totally believe on it and that ghost can mess you up. So you better be careful. <laughs> I think that's like the biggest difference. And it's just like really creepy and scary. Yeah, they really are. Like my, my husband, even like when we go to um, the MRT, he won't let me stand too close to the platform because he literally will tell me jealous ghosts might push me into the, the tracks. And it's like, it's not even a matter of does he believe in it? He's like, yeah, it, it's real. Just don't, don't give them cause to hurt you. Well, I feel like it'd be totally different in a Western society thinking. Is that the words? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Although the, the one good thing about like all the the ones that on this TV show that took place in Singapore is they all seem to take place in um, landed property. So I feel like a lot safer because it's like I don't live in landed property. I'm not I'm too I'm not ever gonna get rich enough to ever live in landed property, so I'm good. <laughs> And if anybody's curious, landed property is like what they call houses, like on land. Most people here live in like apartments.
Although I, I gotta say, I kind of miss living in a house sometimes when it comes to your neighbor stomping upstairs. <laughs> The fact that people now still believe in these things give it more credibility. Yes, exactly. Which is totally the opposite in like America. Most people don't believe. And the people that do believe are kind of considered like, you know, crazy or something. Hopefully this live stream won't be 50% filling markers, but Gotta do what you gotta do. Is that one still dry? <laughs> Which is weird because in America there's also a thing that seems okay that kids can see angels. I've never actually... Is that a thing? I haven't actually heard of that in like... But not ghosts, yeah. <laughs> America explained this too. Maybe that's a... Maybe that's an area thing. I guess the Bible never said anything. Well, I mean, there is a Holy Ghost, right? Although I know nothing about religion or Bible. It's just kind of a funny thing to say. I'm sure they meant something else by Holy Ghost, right? If my kids saw angels, I would not think they're angels. I'd be like, you're seeing something. That's a problem either way. <laughs> mm. These lines are getting even more uneven. I'm trying to like go from the edge to make a nice clean, but I keep getting clip the the nib keeps clipping on the edge, so it's, that's why it's looking so bad. get it but if you're gonna believe in one you can't dismiss the rest mm, true I guess it's supposedly that kids are still innocent and can see angels and ghosts if you're watching too much TV it's time to get some glasses Okay, I'm, I'm glad that it's fun to watch the marker refill. I just feel bad. I'm like, oh no, people are going to be like, oh, I got this again. Get back to the art. The one thing I can't stand about ghost shows, though, is demon episodes. Because, like, it's too scary. And I don't want to believe in it. So it's like, no. No demons.
There was one paranormal show I totally cannot watch though. Um, I don't remember the name, but it was like, there was like a cop guy who investigates like the actual house and then like a psychic lady who, who reads the house and then they compare notes without talking to each other. That one scares me so much. I can't watch that one at all. <laughs> and I feel like every episode's about demons with that one. They're just really good at disturbing you in that, that series. I forget what it was called though. You know what I mean though, right, Cookie? I can't remember the name either. I want to say it's probably paranormal something. Paranormal witness, was it? I, I want to say it's paranormal witness. I'm not sure if that's, that's the right words. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I had an imaginary friend as a kid that my mom said I had. The friend had wings, maybe an angel, I'm not sure. Oh, that's cool though, oh my gosh. Cool and a little creepy. My imaginary friend is a bunch of skeletons. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't think I had an imaginary friend, but I know I used to, I was told that I just used to play by myself a lot, but I was um, the youngest in my family and everyone's a lot older than me. So makes sense. But today's episode of the BuzzFeed was about aliens, and that was actually pretty interesting. I've always kind of liked alien conspiracy theory type shows too. <laughs> like I watch both. I'll watch conspiracy theory shows and alien shows. Even though I don't, I don't really, I don't really like the abduction ones, but I like the other ones. Like, I just can't deal with the the stories where people are like, my whole generation of family has been abducted by aliens for years. No, no. Well, thank you. Oh my god, that's kind of sweet, Karina. My mom said that I told her my friend left after I met my, met my best friend, telling me it'll be okay now. I guess she was there for me up until I found a friend. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, you're eight years old at the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Certain things a little too creepy. Even like the, the Men in Black type episodes too. Those, mmm. Nope. Creepy. I can't deal with it. All right, well, at least doing this is helpful for me to plan out a darker, darker area. Talking about all this creepy stuff while uh, Jolly and Creepy Mermaid wasn't exactly planned, but it kind of works. <laughs>
I like to, I like the idea of like pretty beautiful mermaids, but also scary, horrible mermaids who do terrible things. It's scary knowing the men in black were confirmed real. Mm, yeah. Although some of the some of the stuff they talk about the men in black are even more creepy. Like if they say they're like not human, I can I can deal with businessmen, but if they're not human, that creeps me out. I guess even old uh, fairy tales, fairy stories are really creepy too. I also kind of enjoy watching like Bigfoot shows. <laughs> I guess all that kind of spooky paranormal stuff kind of is fun for me. And it's funny that people don't don't really like do fairy episodes though. It's like super rare. And you can do it. You can do it. Because you have to give your markers a pep talk. And then refill them again. Fairies, or I think the fae are the ones they warn kids to stay away from because they will steal them away. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was like... I wonder why come you don't see like more paranormal stories. I guess like maybe there's just not as many incidents that people are willing to say are fairies anymore. You'd rather say like ghosts or aliens really. Whatever they would do with kids. Oh, I mean the one type would replace them, right? Where is it? There it is. Refill time again. <laughs> yeah, the refill is definitely more effective than the pet talk. Pet talk is somewhat for, for just for me. Like, keep going. We'll refill it after. Although sometimes when you don't have a refill, you just have to do the pet talk. It's no other choice. <laughs> Okay, 20 drops.
I'm going to put this standing up until I'm ready to use it. <laughs> See if it can uh, move towards the nib I need it to. Yeah, yeah, changelings. Yeah, changelings are the ones. Just like um, that cartoon, um, Troll Hunters. They do a story about changelings alone. Let me just double check. N0, zero, N0, zero. yeah, yeah, good. Always gotta make sure I'm putting the right ink in, otherwise I don't wanna regret. How about a fairy mermaid? Yeah, I've done that, that idea for um, a couple times actually. I like to um, sometimes draw fins that look like fairy wings. Unicorn mermaids are kind of popular too. You just use the excuse of drawing a narwhal. I've only done one of those. I did one in 2016. But I put her her horn as her nose because like on the narwhal it looks like it says nose. So I went a different way than conventional unicorn mermaid. I don't know why, but I'm getting excited that there's only a little bit left for this ink refill. But it takes so long that I wonder if I'll ever empty it.
just trying to get the sorry I'm so quiet it's just a uh, trying to concentrate the finish a bit more so we can move on to the mermaid I feel like I could probably spend the whole night on the background so I might just do a bit and then do the mermaid and finish the background uh, off camera so it's a little less boring It kind of looks like she's luring so much. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Go for a creepy one. The ones that want to drown you. I'm glad that came across. Thanks. I really like hearing when people can see like the, the thing I put into it, you know? gonna stop playing with that for now. I mean I could like smooth it out a little bit here. Taper it out I guess. But it's just gonna pretty much be a, another hour or something of me just going back and forth and adding color, smoothing it out, adding color, smoothing it out. So I want her hair to be really black, but I'll start with a lighter color just in case. Also for highlights. Whoa. My elbow just turned up my, my music. That was creepy. Oh right, I should do the skin first actually. Trying to plan this out because um, we'll, the like black color once you add it to a drawing, it can really if you you if you're using like a light color, it can um, pull the black color into it. So that's why I did the background first because I knew I wanted a lighter color around the character and I wanted the character to have some black in it. And then I need to do the skin first so that the skin doesn't accidentally pull in the black of the hair if anybody's curious. Because it can be super frustrating when you're trying to put down a light color and you accidentally touch a bit of a dark color. Normally with the mermaids I try to have like a humanish pinkish skin, even if it's like a light one, just to make sure it looks like human. But this one I'm going creepy, so I want her skin to be like a gray with a tinge of green.
So is anybody drilling mermaids along with me? Need to get a marker from behind. Hi, Emma. Welcome back. Yeah, see, Jolene, the picture of the two mermaids I mentioned. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, hi, Jelly Face. I'm coloring in a joy mermaid from inside out. I'm a couple of days behind the mermaid trying to catch up. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm a whole lot more than a couple of days, but good luck catching up. Joy, joy mermaid from inside out sounds really cute. I have a waffle. Ooh. Like a real waffle. You're eating a waffle right now. That sounds pretty good. If anyone's curious, the marker I'm using right now is actually the uh, the colorless blender I ruined. It still has a little hint of green to it, so I'm using it to um, add a little hint of green to our skin. Might as well use it up. Still kind of hopeful that maybe if I use up this marker, like keep using it till maybe one day the green runs out and it's clear again. I don't know. I'm gonna hold that hope. It's such a light green color that I wonder if even my scanner will be able to pick it up. I'm not sure if the camera can even see it. This is going to be my only mermaid drawing, but worth it. Still need to debate on the coloring. Oh, good luck, Karina. Even one is fine. Like, even one is good. All mermaids are good. Yup, with her she saw us. Ooh, sounds good. Oh no! The window in my house is open. It keeps making the door close and it's scaring me. Oh no! Can anyone even see the green in this at all? I'm not sure if it's coming up in, on camera or not. And my dog. And your dog was, I have food. Oh, they, the dog noticed you have food? Oh no. I can see a little of the green faint by the side. Oh, okay, awesome. So the camera can totally pick it up. That's great. grayish but I can see that it isn't white okay so yeah like I think you can tell by the nib <sighs> it was clear when I first installed it but it found some green even this this other nib I installed um only a few days ago so I had to buy one it's lighter green but it's still green <laughs> it works though it works for this Gives me a light greenish hue, just so she looks even more creepy. <laughs> Autocorrect is uh, doing a lot of damage tonight.
Did you ever go to art college or classes? No, I haven't. Kind of want to, but the cost is too expensive. The closest I guess I've been to was just regular. Um, well, no, the closest I've been to was one day at tech school. I tried out the art side of it. But I wasn't a fan because they pretty much just said, um, you know, here's the task. There's some newspapers. Go figure it out yourself. And I was just like, oh, that's not helpful. I thought they'd actually like teach us stuff. So I kind of got discouraged from there. And nowadays, if I want to go to art school, I totally could because there's like some really nice art schools in Singapore, but they're also really well priced. <laughs> I'll never be able to afford that. Yeah, I wonder if uh, if I hadn't given up on it, would I have found better classes or what? It might have been the area. But I don't think I was ready at that point anyway when I was younger. I'm more ready now to take direction than I would have been back then. So all of my art is just self-taught. I've seen a lot of debate as to whether art school is a good idea or not online. I guess it depends on um, the way you learn because it sounds like a lot of people say it's pretty normal for uh, some classes to just not teach you anything and just kind of let you do your own thing. I hope that's not true though. I mean. Who knows though. Our, our school class are two periods each 40 minutes and in art one period is getting taught how to do it and the other one is you go and do it. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I think that's true, Karina. It does seem, it really, the way people talk, it does seem to be, it depends on kind of luck of where you go and who's teaching you, which is kind of a shame. Only because it's like, I guess if you're unlucky, you might get like a bad teacher and then like, you won't have a good experience compared to somebody else, but you'll probably pay the same amount. I gotta admit guys, I, I, there's something fun about grayscale. <laughs> Something fun about just gradients with grayscale. That's so why for a while I was doing mostly like black and white stuff in my one sketchbook. Because it's just, uh, sometimes it's easier to just do black and white. and not have to worry about what colors you're using. Purple X Moon, thank you. I'm glad you like it so far. My art school is a mix of different arts, but my all my teachers taught me what I had learned and still use today for my art even now. Aw. That's awesome. This sounds like you had a really nice experience.
was finally able to make it to one of your streams. I'm drawing something for Mermaid at the moment. Oh, awesome, Purple X Men. Well, welcome. Glad you're able to make it. And if you use Instagram, like tag me in your drawing when you post it. I'd love to see it. <laughs> Artsy Fartsy, hi, how are you? Oh, thank you. It's such a funny name. My art went through such a huge change and improvement, especially since I went for animation. Oh, that's awesome. That's why I kind of, sometimes I wish I could just do that. But, I mean, I'll have to learn from books, really, <laughs> and learn from doing, because I just can't afford it. I think the, the one, the one college I looked into, seriously, I was looking at, um, all of what they offer and I think in the end I just closed the book because it said like sixty thousand dollars which is like no I think that might have been one semester too but that I don't that's probably not true it's probably like a year right I can't remember can I tag you on Twitter yeah tag me on Twitter I can see it on Twitter too it's the same username there, too. My birthday is soon, so I might get some Copics. Cool. I hope you'll enjoy them if you get them. Sometimes I regret the way I do line art uh, in a drawing, like, because I, I do this, like, um, almost a month ago. So I, I'm already seeing with things in the line art that I wish I could fix. Uh, it's always like that, though. Lois, her recent art book is good. You know, I've never really followed Lois much. I hear so many people talk about her, though. I have some markers, but I need the right paper. What kind of paper do you use now, uh, purple? There's a lot of papers that work with markers. I hope I'm not gonna ruin those. Thank you so much. This is the first time someone's read my chat thing. Uh, you gotta go to smaller streams, that's why smaller streams people actually read. When you go to the bigger ones, they can't read everything, I think. Unless there's just some people who don't read the chats at all. <laughs> I don't know. I like reading your guys' chats and hanging out with you. I'm almost feeling like kind of zen, just doing some shading on her body. This has become the fun part to me. I use regular sketchbook paper and it's thin. I'm not sure it would be the best paper. Um, you know, if you, 
if you can find some thicker like um, Bristol board, like Strathmore sells Bristol board, that's good. It depends on how you use the markers though, I should say that first, because if you use a lot of blending like I do here, you need thicker paper to be able to hold it so that it doesn't come out the back as easily <laughs> and so it doesn't break up the paper. But if you're using thinner paper, you could just do less, like less blending, less layers, and it should be fine. I always use like computer paper for the longest time. Or you can get like um, a Bristol board or yeah, mixed media paper will work too. Or um, what's it called? Cardstock. The stuff I'm using now is Hammer Mill uh, Color Copy. 100 pounds. There's a link. There's a link in the description to the Amazon where you can get it. It's like a 500 pages for like. Okay, last I checked, I think they upped the price to like 20 bucks. It's ridiculous, but it's still a lot of paper for the price if you can swing it. But computer paper works at first, really. Yeah, smooth paper, smooth and slightly thicker, should be good. You can just even check, you know, Walmart and see what kind of paper they have. I also like the Canson XL Mixed Media um, sketchbook. The, this, it actually takes um, markers pretty good. Uh, I'm shook. My horse mermaid sketch looks so good. Yee. Oh, that's awesome, Emma. I'm glad. Yeah, I'll copy your paper. Love your mermaid. It's so cool and creepy. Thank you, artsy fartsy. That's <laughs> so fun to say. <laughs> Alright. When I was younger, I always used um, this regular copy paper when I did art, and then I slowly moved up to slightly nicer copy paper. And then I started buying like uh, Bristol, Bristol board, which can dry out your markers a little bit, but it takes a lot of marker. So it can be, it can be good if you just want to like put a lot of marker on the page. Although that could be bad if you're trying to like save marker ink. Something to think about. Do you do digital art? I only really do um, procreate digital art because I'm a noob at digital art. <laughs> I'm like super bad at it. Um, but I have a few um, like. Yeah. I'm not really, like my brain doesn't understand digital art that well. Cause I'm an old fogey guys. <laughs> Let me see. I like the, the gentle shading on her skin so far. Hi Pikachu! I'm getting my sketchbook. Yeah, what are you gonna draw, artsy fartsy? I'm learning digital, which is my horse mermaid is on. Oh, that's cool. What program are you using, Emma? Oh wait. Emma, you were the one who was telling me about you getting the iPad, right? Was it? Or is that somebody else? Ooh, wolves are really cool, artsy fartsy. I love them too. Especially like werewolves. <laughs> Let's 
see. I just got some new liners from Prismacolor yesterday. Like um multi liners. They make they make liners from Prismacolor. Ooh, dragons are awesome. I wish I could draw like a seriously detailed like fantasy dragon. Like the fantasy artists, like they're amazing. I have the iPad 2018 works with Apple Pencil. Oh, really? How is it? I'm kind of curious if uh, it holds up to the iPad Pro performance. Hi, Brittany. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know how they keep being able to design new fancy dragons. I don't know either. Some of those fantasy artists are really inventive. There's so many different ways of like drawing. I don't know. I really like fantasy artists though. I think they, they're just amazing. All right, uh, I think that's good for the skin. So I'm gonna move on to the hair. I like that. I like the, the gentle, the gentle shading. Hopefully it's uh, dark enough that I don't have to go over it again later. I always feel like I'm a bit lazy when it comes to coloring hair anymore because when I was younger I always used to color the hair and leave the highlights like out which always took longer but it always looked really good in the end and then one day I just got really lazy <laughs> and I, I just started to do like a flat color and then like put the highlights in with color pencils and I thought I was a genius because I'm like oh this works really well but that was back before the internet really for me. I didn't have internet yet, so I didn't know that other people thought of that too. I sometimes just reflect on the fact that it's kind of cool how nowadays like we can learn from other artists and see other artists like drawing live. The last time I used to just draw for myself in my room and never know if anyone would ever see it. I know, right? Dragons are so... I like to draw wolves, foxes, and animals with wings. Oh, that's awesome. My liner set came with a chisel tip, brush tip, and 0 0.5 and 0 0.05 liners. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool, which is a small difference, but if you're on a budget, it's worth, it's more of a preference, I guess. Yeah, I also think so. I also think like, I mean, it's a pretty big difference in price, so. I mean, the fact that it works with a pencil is probably already good enough, the, the new iPad. I'm reading Lord of the Rings at school and Harry Potter at home. <laughs> Do you have any tips for drawing hands? Mmm, I never was able to draw hands until I saw this one manga where the, the manga artist just drew them super big and somehow that helped me. Um, I'm not sure if I can put into words how to how to do it. I just kind of... I, I sometimes like, in order to get the hand, I just kind of draw like a really icky one at first and then I refine it. Like, um, especially if I'm sketching, you might see me do this where it's like, I'll just draw something like this and then I just kind of refine it. <laughs> but definitely like look at your own hand to get ideas. So 
something like that. But it's so, oh, that looks so bad. But it's, it's so hard, hands. You just got to keep drawing them. Just keep drawing them. Look at your own hand and try to replicate it. Eventually, you'll get there. I still struggle with feet, by the way. <laughs> I feel like feet's the bane of my existence these days. Because sometimes I can get them to look good, and sometimes I really can't. I don't understand why the Prismacolor liners are always said to be bad by other artists, but I remember using them when they were so nice to use. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't remember using Prismacolor liners. I think I always, I'm not sure if they sold them before when I was using Prismacolor products. But, um, you know, if it works for you, don't care what other people say, you know? Because maybe they just doesn't work for them or they got a bad one. You'll never know. I actually saw some people complaining about um, my favorite gel pen and saying that it never works for them, which I thought was really funny because for me, it's like literally my favorite. I feel like it never fails me. Um, and then there's people who are singing the praise of like the Uniball Signal. And I hate the Uniball Signal. It does not work for me at all. So everyone can be different. No problem, Artsy. Feet are hard for me to draw. Yeah, me too. <laughs> My feet look like long, weird feet things. Yep, yeah, me too. It's so funny. And shoes, like, forget it. Just forget it. This one's just the base color for the hair. And then I'll be going back over with black. I'm trying to do it the slightly less lazy way. Because I think I don't want white highlights for this character. I think white highlights might be a little too, too light. Except maybe the eyes. I might let the eyes be white just so they can be even more creepy. I wonder how long I've been streaming for. I think it might be they might not let it dry properly because I saw people say the smudge never had that issue. Is the smudge about the Uniball signal or the Prismacolor pen? How don't you have more than one million subscribers? You're amazing. Oh, thanks, Artsy. Because I, I don't... I don't talk that way, I guess. I've noticed all the bigger YouTubes, they have a certain way of talking. No, I'm, I'm, I don't put in the effort, to be honest. I just want to draw. I don't want to read the analytics. <laughs> Prismacolor liners use them a lot because for some reason the Copic liners never worked for me, but then again, maybe I should try the Copic ones, but not black. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, just see what works for you. I wish I could lend you mine and then you could try them out. <laughs> I've always liked the, the Copic multi liners because, um, I used to use the Sakura pigment, pigma, pig, the Sakura ones, you know? Um, but when you erase, they, they fade a lot. So I always had to go over the drawing 
uh, another time to reline it, which was really annoying. And um, they would sometimes smear and the nibs would like break. So I had to keep buying certain sizes over and over again. So that's why I switched to the Copics because uh, it didn't fade as much when I erased. And I could buy the SPs so I can replace the nibs if I break them instead of the whole pen. So it's different for everybody though. Some people really like the Sakura one still. And if you like the prism colors, just like them, you know. I like the way he took. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Boots tend to be what I draw in case I can't draw the shoes of my characters. Oh my god. I always draw like platform shoes because I find them the easiest last time. So I know what you mean. It feels sincere. Oh, thank you. I just talk normally. I, I like, cause I mean like, I feel like a lot of YouTubers, they have like, I don't know, a certain, I don't know, like, you know how like people in the news they have a certain way of talking. I'm starting to notice all the big t YouTubers also have a certain way of talking. And people who are trying to get big, I feel like they also start to adapt that way. But I prefer to just talk the way I talk. Not that that has anything to do with the subscribers. I'm just kind of going off on a tangent. I have 13 Copic markers from saving up for a year. And the refills. Oh, cool. Hi, little redhead. How are you? Oh, I need the refills in it. Yeah, the well, I mean, until the marker dries up, you don't really need them. I only have like a couple of refills compared to the amount of markers I have. I only get more refills when um, one of my markers dries up. Hi, purple. The ones that tend to work well for me are the Zig Manga Cast. I bought those and I still haven't used those. I hope they're good. I want to try them out. The Uni Ball pens and the Art and Fly pens. Oh, that's cool. I'm already a bit tired, but that's all. <laughs> I'm happy to get you. Oh, I'm happy you got my stream too. How are you holding out, Mermaid? So far, so good. I, I hope we'll, well, <laughs> words, okay. I hope I can um, do some more, get more done before the end of it. I wanna kind of crunch, I wanna get into crunch time and like get more done. But so far, um, my mermaids have been doing really well, especially on Instagram. So that gives me some hope that maybe I'm uh, doing a good job. Try not to stress out about it though. <laughs> Um, let's see. Maybe a sepia gray or wine pink Copic multivitamin might. Yeah, I really like, um, I wouldn't really suggest the pink ones if I'm being honest. Let's see. Where are my pink ones? I don't even know where they are. <laughs> I find that the color just really kind of neon-y. Wow, I really don't know where they are. But the I like the the wine ones. I feel like they they actually go really good with the character's skin. And um I like dark liners, so I like the cool grays. I think the cool gray is really cool, which is this one. But if you like something closer, you might like the warm grays. Because I find the warm grays are like kind of close to brown. And um, they when I put the warm grays over my pencil lid, I almost cannot see it, which is kind of weird. And these are the, the brown. The brown or is this called sepia? Yeah, these are the sepia. And I find that I, I use the other colors more. So I don't know if that's helpful, but let's see, you can see the color differences. I'm not sure if that zoomed in so good. My drawing so far looks really funny. Oh, keep at it, Artsy. 
Sometimes you gotta get through the funny phase. Keep going. Probably check out the wines and grapes. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I really enjoy it. I mean, everyone's different, but I've been enjoying the wines and the grapes the most. Oh, I'm so glad it's helpful. The one thing I hate about the colored liners is that they, they don't come in the SPs. And for me, I have a slightly heavy hand, so I tend to break the 0 0.1 and the 0 0.05s. And they're disposable with the colors, so you have to just kind of uh, deal with it if they break, which kind of sucks. That's my only complaint, but so far I've actually liked the colors, which is weird because I thought I would never use anything but black. Wait, was I using N4 or N6? This is N6. Where is N4? <laughs> oh, it's over here. Found it. Oh, that's awesome, Artsy. Oh, drawing piercings are awesome. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. I used to like to put, um, like, piercings and makeup on my characters especially. Because I was really into, like, that kind of style. It's so fun to put your own kind of style into a drawing. I think there's a place that sells the SP pens in color. Yeah, they they do sell one pack, but it's only the 0 0.3. So that kind of like, you, I, I don't think we you can buy them individually. You have to buy the whole pack and it's only like one, one color, you know, one, one 0 0.3 per color that they offer. And I don't break 0 0.3s, so kind of seems pointless to me. I wish they sold the smaller ones because I always break those. It's kind of like with the N the SP black ones. I only at first bought the ones that I break. So I bought the 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and the 0 0.1. And then I just started to use the disposable ones for the bigger ones because it's really the tip that's the problem for me. It's not really the refillability because I, I don't think I've ever actually needed to refill a pen like ever which is kind of funny but it's true oh they were individual oh yeah I wish I could find that maybe one day when I get to go to Japan I can see I'm turning 11 soon. My brother is going to be a teenager on Monday, but he doesn't draw. All he does is play video games. Oh, that's okay. Teenagers are like that. Happy early birthday to both of you. That's really neat that your your brother and you have similar, um, like your birthdays are close. Oh yeah, what's her tail color? Kind of, the tail color is going to be um, a dark color. I'm going to stand up for a second and check the camera if it needs battery or not. Yes, it does. There we go. Yeah. 
marker pop. Marker pop. I've never heard of marker pop. I'll have to look later. Although it may not be worth it for me to order because shipping, it's probably a Western or like an American site, so the shipping kind of negates any savings. <laughs> when I go over the line and it has to become thicker. Oh, you once had a double birthday party. That's cool, but I guess it, it's cool if you don't mind. It kind of sucks sometimes. I'm so glad the, the hand tip helped, Artsy. I've never had a birthday party. Aw, why come? Is it like uh, not in your culture? Oh, that was three years ago when he was nice. <laughs> Your mom and dad just don't. Actually, my my husband's family never really celebrates things also. I always make a big deal about holidays, especially birthdays. This is the tricky part, trying to make sure I don't go over the fingers back. Oh no, there's a single dot that has appeared at the, in the background. Sometimes you gotta be careful when you uncap the darker markers, they just cause trouble. So would you recommend I just use whatever paper I have for markers? Yeah, I would. I would I would just use what you have at first and if you have the chance to upgrade you can just like check out some of the um some of the suggestions for upgrades. You know, do it slowly. I just use whatever I had at first. Sometimes it's good to um make something work because like you learn more that way. Of course, if it's really terrible and you're having a bad time, then it's a good idea to upgrade, but you don't have to do it all in one day. You can slowly get there. I feel too old for birthdays. Oh no! No, you're never too old for birthdays. Birthdays are awesome. They probably just get more low key depending on uh, how you celebrate. I would definitely say, I mean, it depends on the person though, but for me, I definitely celebrate very low key. 
I just want art supplies and I want to pick whatever show <laughs> and food like I want to pick the dinner and that's a good birthday to me but I'm a homebody so you know <laughs> I knew your parties are amazing, so I guess it makes up for it. Oh, that's awesome. Art supplies, food, and relaxation is a good birthday. Yeah, hell yeah. Sounds good to me. Although that's pretty much all of my holidays. <laughs> Unless I've asked for a doll, of course. But mostly it's art supplies. Let's be honest. New Year's is actually a holiday I usually don't bother with. I'm such an old fogey. I just... I don't really go out for it anymore. But that's awesome that you have really nice parties for it. Next month I'll be able to get some drawing paper. Cool! But don't worry about it too much. Just use what you have first. Even if it's lined paper and like a school notebook. A lot of people start out that way too. I'm kind of being super gentle with this shading so I'm I hope it's not too boring to watch. <laughs> no, 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 no Christmas songs. We are way too far away from Christmas, okay? We are not allowed to sing Christmas songs. I always yell at my husband because he sometimes sings Christmas songs and I'm like, it's not Christmas now. Oh no, oh no, 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 I ruined it. <sighs> okay, just reshape it. Oh, get to, mm. This is why I would not be good with with brush pens, guys. <laughs> Why are you guys doing this to me? No more Christmas songs. Happy little accent, yeah. Prince Harry is married. Yep. We were talking about that earlier. If, uh, Anybody watched? It was all over TV here, so I can kind of avoid watching it. But I found it a little boring. I don't really um, follow celebrity news, so. My mom woke me up really early to watch him get married. <laughs> oh my gosh. She must be really excited though, it's nice. I remember watching the last one more because um, the last wedding took place, I think, I 
can't remember if it was just before or just after I got married. So I was a little more interested. I think it was just, it was after I had already picked my dress because I remember seeing replicas of her dress go everywhere. Thanks, Purple. Wait, your your mom? I, I'm I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if I missed something. Although you can't deny that it's a, definitely an event that doesn't happen very often. I did see one interview where they were saying something like, it'll be a really long time before another royal wedding. And that made me feel like really weird <laughs> because uh, I couldn't help but think by the time uh, another royal wedding comes by, the people commentating on it wouldn't it be around anymore. That was a weird, morbid thought. And then that made me feel bad. Do you mean her dress? Wait. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I got it, Artsy. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting that she was American. Do you have times where you don't like the way your pick came out? Yes, definitely. A lot of times. A lot of times. It definitely happens. Sometimes I don't like the way it came out, but I post it anyway. And people are like, this is the best work you've ever done. And I'm like, what? That's just like, every artist goes through that too. It's just like, bound to happen. <laughs> it's like Murphy's Law almost. Oh, maybe I said it wrong. Earlier I was saying um, the other, the other um, royal wedding, I guess her name was Kate, right? I was getting married around the time when she was getting married. And I remember seeing replicas of her dress appear. But I think there was also replicas of like the, the dress for, for that vampire movie at the time too. <laughs> Do you recommend sharing your art because I always hide mine? Sharing, sharing where? Sharing it online? It depends. Sometimes you have to, if you really don't like it, you don't, you don't have to share it. Um, but sometimes I just do anyway. Kind of have to make a judgment call. There's definitely drawings that I, I've never posted because I just... I just really, really don't like it. I don't want to hear people say they do. Mm. 
No to your family and friends. You know, it's funny for me, I actually, um, especially when I was younger, I would show my art to my family and friends less than I might a stranger. Because I just, I don't like to show my art to people who feel like they're not interested. And I got this impression from a lot of my family members before, so. It, it really depends on, on how you feel about it. And your personality too. If you want to show it, show it. If you don't, you can totally keep it to yourself. Never feel pressured to share with anybody really. Because art can be very personal. Is it bad that I had my art from mom and dad too? No, I don't think so. Like I said, like, I, I really, I wouldn't, sh I don't show it to family members, especially in the past, if I feel like they had no interest. If they asked, they might, but I wouldn't, like, volunteer it. Although it can be really nice to be able to share it with some people. It's just, like, for me, if I had, like, a uh, sibling or something who kind of like looked at my art and was like meh then I'd be like all right well then you don't you don't have to see it so yeah I feel the same way purple there's even a lot of uh, artworks I won't post online probably ever because they're personal like I'm not sure if I've ever said it but I actually for a while was um doing a drawing of my mom at the anniversary of her passing and um, those artworks won't be shared publicly because they're really really personal to me I feel like I kind of ruined the, the bottom of the these two hairs. I kind of, I went over the lid and the shape looks weird now, but you know, sometimes it happens. Maybe I can fix it with um, multi-laner later. See if I can make this shape a little bit more interesting or something. Ugh, just got bigger. Her tail would be dark too, but then that's going to be dark on dark. But I might layer the tail with green, so it should be okay. I'll start with six. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I feel the same way. I like to draw feminine things too.
It's so funny how long this one is taking. I thought it'd be pretty quick because I just want it to do, you know, black and white. So, but I don't know. I just wanted to take my time with it. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to layer some green on her tail. Pound is what green? I'm going to try this one. See how that looks. Hoping it's not too green. Kind of want a gentle color, not like something that overpowers. Oh, it's okay, Artsy. Don't worry about it. That kind of thing. The only benefit about Twitter is that I am able to post there easily when I'm uh, going to go live. But otherwise, I post the same art on all the all the platforms currently. So. Okay, that's not so bad. I kind of like earlier the, the marker was a little dry and it gave some texture. So I kind of want to replicate that. Mm -hmm. 
start with N6. So maybe I can add more texture with N8. It's a bit overpowered now. Okay, I'm gonna try tip to tip. Oh, thank you, purple. Gotta cap the correct markers. <laughs> time to add a little bit more green. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost looked like there was um some kind of like chunky thing that popped out of my marker. Now that I've made this a bit green, I feel like I need more green here. And my lightest green is the YG61. Is she a ghostly? I guess you could see it like that. I kind of just put a ghost in the thingy just to be cute. But uh, I'm just going for a creepier mermaid because like if you go and look up um, the folk tales of actual mermaids in the past. Like, the stories are very creepy. So sometimes I like to do a creepy mermaid to celebrate that. Okay, I like that. We're almost done with this one. I just have to refine the background, which I'll do later. And I think I'll leave her eyes mostly white because that would be kind of creepy. I guess another way would be like to make it black. That would be kind of demony though. That's an idea though. What do you guys think? Black eyes or white eyes? Okay, good, white. Okay, I'll stick with white. I'm a little worried. I kind of want to go for black, but I'm like, mm, that might be too creepy. The original idea was white. Maybe I'll make a cute ghost mermaid for mermaid. Yeah, you should do it. That sounds really cute. I have to be 15 to have Instagram and Snapchat. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. The programs will wait for you. You don't have to worry about it. 
I, I think I'll stop here then because I'm not sure what else to do. I think I'll just be fussing a lot with the background more, which is it's going to be boring for you guys. And I need to spend more concentration on it too so I can get a nice smooth look. And um, otherwise, I'll post the finished drawing up on Instagram when it's done. Tonight, I'll be posting the last one that I finished. Um, this one's number seven, so number six will be posted up tonight. So if you want to see that, definitely check out my Instagram later. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and chatting with me. You all are awesome. You're awesome each time. And um, yeah, I'll show you a close up and then I'll, I'll end the stream. Thank you guys so much again for coming out and chatting with me. I really appreciate it. I'll try to stream again soon. Hopefully tomorrow, we'll see how things go. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys again. I'll show you the close up. Oh, black eyes might be too much. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, here's the See you next time. Bye.